Welcome. Welcome to the OpenStack Summit, first day. I would like to share with you some solution we've been developed for the last year and a half. Uh, started with the Grizzly version, and now already available uh, in Havana. Uh, Radware is uh, a leader in the application delivery controller. You know, we've been identified as one of the leaders and certainly the most innovative uh, vendor in the application delivery uh, for our cloud activities, for our virtualization support, SDN, and NFV. And for some of those uh, innovation, I would like to share with you today all around our uh, load balancing as a service support for uh, OpenStack Havana. So just a recap. Uh, what load balancers are currently used for mission critical and performance critical applications, especially those that are uh, bringing them to the cloud. So certainly load balancer is used for application scale out. So you can add as many application uh, front end uh, servers needed to support uh, the demand. Uh, load balancer is also for uh, fault tolerance. So whenever one of those servers is down, the load, the load balancer identify that, redirect traffic to the surviving uh, uh, VMs, and without any effect to the application availability. And also, load balancer are for global uh, scale out, cross location, so you can actually deploy application instances in more than one location, and the global load balancing capability will actually redirect uh, users uh, to the location in close proximity to them. And also, when uh, one of the location is down or disconnected, then the application will be continue to be available uh, from the other location. So those are basically the three main reasons why uh, mission critical and performance critical applications are using load balancers. Uh, what we hear from our customers, uh, three different things. First, uh, SLA assurance is key. Moving mission, mission critical and performance critical application to the cloud doesn't mean they're going to make any concession with regard to the performance and to the availability of the mission critical application. Uh, another thing that we hear Nobody actually wants to start rewriting their application specifically for the cloud. What our customer expect is to take their existing mission critical application and move them to the cloud as is, without uh, need to do any modification. And a multi-site application deployment, and it can be either hybrid uh, cloud uh, deployment where one application instance run in the customer uh, private cloud, and the other instance is running in a public cloud service. Well, this translates to us a very clear and key uh, functionality that we are uh, addressing. First, the load balancing service must provide guarantee service level assurance for each and every application. Okay? Uh, second, Load balancing services must be fully compliant with uh, traditional or legacy load balancers because existing applications rely on those features. So you cannot avoid using those features on the cloud. Otherwise, you cannot really migrate your mission critical application to the cloud. And the third uh, requirement is global load balancing is a key feature of uh, cloud load balancing. And uh, otherwise, customer will not be able uh, to deploy uh, mission critical application cross location and use the same load balancing service that they are using in house. Uh, so, for that reason, we have uh, joined the OpenStack actually in December uh, 2011, uh, and we are proactively extending uh, the OpenStack networking. It used to called Quantum, now it's called the Neutron, and we are focusing on extending uh, network services, starting with load balancing and then firewall as a service and VPN as a service. So load balancing as a service was the first 
service, uh, network service extension, we actually contributed the driver mechanism uh, to allow third-party load balancer like ours and, uh, and uh, other vendors to be integrated with Havana uh, to provide, uh, to deliver load balancing services behind the scene. So currently, uh, our load balancer, uh, Radware Alteon, is the first and only load balancer that is fully integrated and natively integrated with OpenStack. And this is available in Havana. And uh, I will show you some slides. And you can see the demo in our booth right there. Uh, and we are very much focusing on migrating mission critical application to the cloud. We don't expect our customers to rewrite their mission critical application to run on OpenStack environment. We're actually trying to make OpenStack enterprise ready, uh, enterprise application uh, ready, and starting with the load balancing service. So load balancing is one of the services available currently in OpenStack. Uh, for example, you can, you can start by consuming load balancing services. Uh, this is uh, how, you, how it is done uh, through Horizon. And when you configure a load balancing pool, currently you have two options, either uh, our Radware Alton uh, load balancer or the HA proxy that is uh, built into uh, OpenStack. And there are a uh, big difference between the two type of uh, services. And as we saw, there are three major requirements SLA, uh, global load balancing, and support of uh, legacy load balancer features are not currently supported by uh, HA proxy. Okay? The way we are implementing that, uh, we've created, sorry, we've created a, a driver that is connecting a, a VDirect. This is our own offline uh, management uh, solution that communicate with uh, Neutron using the Neutron API. And our driver actually manage multiple instances of Alta on virtual appliances in the background. And uh, the way it works, uh, and it, it exposing, it exposing the basic features, uh, load balancing that currently support in Havana, and for customer that would like to access additional functionality like SSL offloading and acceleration security and all those other enterprise uh, uh, features, uh, this can be exposed using our REST API, using a custom uh, GUI. And actually, we are pushing those features to be natively integrated in IceHouse, the next uh, coming uh, OpenStack version. Okay. So this is actually the first enterprise-grade application delivery uh, solution in OpenStack. And the way it's been delivered, uh, it's as follows. So if we have a, a tenant network with a tenant private network uh, running an application, a multi-VM application, and this requires a virtual IP, uh, and uh, the virtual IP is uh, defined using the OpenStack Horizon uh, uh, GUI, what we are doing in the background, we're actually creating on the fly two instances of our load balancer configured in an active uh, backup uh, configuration. And this VIP is automatically configured on the, on the device. Okay? After uh, that was defined, if you want to access this uh, virtual IP from the external network, then you need uh, to as associate a floating IP address with this private uh, IP. And the next uh, IP, virtual IP, will not uh, need to create additional uh, uh, load balancer. It will just uh, add more VP definition for the existing load balancers. So actually, load balancing provisioning is done once upon the first request for load balancing service. So we don't need just uh, to have a load balancer sitting there uh, waiting uh, for a load balancing request. So it's automatically provisioned on the first uh, request uh, per each tenant. OK? So other each tenant 
uh, each tenant has its own set of uh, load balancer, so we can have a fully isolated load balancing service delivery. Each one has its own resources. Uh, each uh, can uh, configure its load balancers independently from uh, the other load balancer. This is the way we create a fully fault isolation, uh, high SLA uh, load balancing solution in a software uh, pure uh, solution. Okay, uh, and this this uh, solution is currently available. You can uh, deploy it uh, using Avana, and the way it runs, so our uh, Radwar Elbus driver, which is uh, part of Newton, this is open source. You can, uh, you can download uh, this component uh, side by side with your Avana version, and this drives load balancing uh, functionality through our VDirect management solution, which is yet another VM a management VM running the system, and that will provision an Alton virtual appliance to run and provide load balancing services. Uh, the difference between our solution and the embedded HA proxy uh, uh, solution, uh, it's, it's uh, all about highly available. So the HP proxy solution is not highly available. Okay, if you are losing the network node that currently supports your load balancer, then your load balancing service is uh, disconnected. Uh, SLA is guaranteed because resources are provisioned specifically per each tenant. Uh, fault isolation, enterprise capability, you, you, can, you can deploy our load balancer in various, in various sizes, depends, depends uh, what is the capacity required by your application. Uh, so this is basically uh, an enterprise a ready solution to support your enterprise uh, mission critical and performance critical application on OpenStack environment. Okay, uh, you can you can come to our booth to see the demo. In the demo, we show all this uh, a workflow: provisioning the first V, provisioning the second V. Actually, we are emulating a, a failover, so you can see when, it, when you are losing the master load balancer, uh, the backup load balancer kicks in without any inter interruption to the application uh, availability. You can see this demo in our boot right there. Okay, you are welcome to come and see the demo. Uh, before uh, I get some question, let me just summarize. So this is the first commercial load balancer available in OpenStack. Uh, to provide load balancing service for mission critical and uh, performance critical application, highly available, fault isolated, uh, resource assured, everything you need uh, to run your uh, mission critical application exactly in the same way you are running it in house on your uh, existing infrastructure. Any questions? Thank you. <laughs>